all right you guys hey everyone how's everyone doing today i hope all is well so you guys i'm coming in with slightly different video so i know some of you nail polish lovers are like what in the world is she doing like okay i don't see the nail polish I'm starting to see ear stretching oh gosh she's talking about random stuff now what's she doing y'all know some of you guys know i want to talk about something let's open a discussion you guys and can i be real for a second can i be real y'all i got a chin hair right <laughs> y'all i'm it's raw today y'all okay i'm wearing the hat today because the hair is just a no-go um I just dropped off my kids at school, uh, my last three kids, my younger three kids at school. So they were the last ones to get dropped off. Um, oh, before we get into this, you guys, I do want to let you guys know, oh my gosh, you're looking at a wax specialist now. I get, I got this underneath my belt now, you guys. I'm about to start um, training on Monday, actually on Memorial Day. Can you believe that? So anyway, you guys, wish me good luck. So anyway, let's get back to what we need to talk about. Can I be real? <laughs> Y'all. I wanted to slap the shit out of my daughter. I'm going to say it. This is a mother being real. Now, am I going to slap the shit out of my daughter? my daughter? No, I'm not. And I'm talking about my older daughter, okay? No, I'm not. But, you know, we all get pushed to, to those limits, right? Like where your daughter or your child, just your child your teenager we'll talk about teens okay not so much young kids okay but let's talk about teens because you know it's that it's that age that they're at they're trying to figure out things they're you know they say about almost anything you know what i mean somewhat of a no filter somewhat but you know still there has to be that barrier of respect they have to have right let me turn off this ac so and forgive me you guys they're doing lawn behind me so this is what happened we were having a discussion a family you know somewhat of a family discussion with the older ones saying you know like oh my god i cannot believe this generation what is going on with this generation like you know what i mean um a lot of people i i mean a lot of people refer to this generation as they are like the most stupidest generation but they're smart at the same time some of you guys will get what I'm saying. I don't want to say they're stupid, but that's what people are like labeling it as. Like they're the stupidest generation, but they are the smartest. So we were having this discussion and like certain things was coming up and we were like, yeah, we're noticing that. Like when we were teenagers, I feel like my mother had put a fear because it takes it back. We got to talk about our parents. My mother put fear in us. She act as if she was God in my opinion because you shouldn't fear your your parents right not like that like fearing you know what i mean so the respect it was always there with my parents i never overstepped none of that so my daughter she says to me she was like well you guys are the ones that raise us so there you go which <laughs> she said it like that too <laughs> oh my god y'all it was one of those moments hear me out i just wanted to slap the but that's not me i will never do that you know but i did tell her i said you know what i said it's don't ever say that to me it's how you say it. I said the way you said it and with the attitude behind it, it was letting letting your dad and I know like, well, shoot, you guys are the ones that created this. So what's the problem? So I had told her this. I said, I said, you don't understand the level where we came from because my 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 husband went through the same thing. He feared his mom. They, you know, um, we're not going to get into that, but because that's his story, 
but I can speak for myself, you know, my mother put fear in me and I know my, from talking to my husband, you know, his mother put fear in him. So it was a different feeling. So I had to tell her, I was like, we came from where we feared our parents. We never wanted you guys to ever fear us, ever fear. We are your comfort zone. We are your safe place. You know what I mean? Home is where you can just be like, say it all. You know what I mean? If there's anything on your mind, but obviously in a respectful way and you find a way. And some, some things you cannot say. I mean, some things just got to be said. And in her head, she was thinking, I, I don't know how, you know, how else to say it. She did. But <laughs> we're not going to eliminate that because she did have a little uh, attitude behind it. But I had to tell her, I said, we, your dad and I, and a lot of this, you know, my generation, we worked so hard to not do the same things that our parents did. The fear and, you know, just the fear and the, let's just be honest, the ass fucking whooping and shit. You guys, this is not, this is not a child's video. I don't ever have mine for children anyway. But what I'm saying is like, we don't, we, my husband and I, that's not our parenting st style. We'd rather do things that, you know, is gonna be more effective than just whooping ass because whooping ass is not the end all be all. It just, that, that don't work. You know what I mean? So not in, you know, all cases I'll say, but no uh-uh but i was just trying to tell her i was like we came from a place where we did not want the same thing and you know i'm saying this to you guys and i said this to my husband i you know some of what she said is accurate you know we are the creators of this generation we so badly do not want our kids to be we don't want, I mean, I can only speak for our, myself and my, my household, but my husband and I, we did not want our children to feel the same way that we felt about our, our parents. You know what I mean? On how they raised us. Yes, we came out great. You know, none of us is in prison, jail. Neither one of us went to prison or jail. You know what I mean? Like we're doing pretty good for ourselves. You know what I mean? As far as that goes. So yes, but I feel like there's always ways of doing this and I just want, I mean, there's a lot more that I can get into, but I'd rather just open up this discussion for you guys because this was, you know, it, it is, it's a catch 22, I feel like, you know, where these, these kids, do they realize what they're doing? Do they realize what it could have been for them? Because a lot of my generation, we are not parenting like how our parents parent. You know what I mean? I am 38. I'll be 39 this year. I'm not parenting like my parents and I will never parent like my parents. There's a many things that I see wrong and I'm not saying I'm correct and I'm not saying I'm perfect. No, uh, there's certain things that I do wish I could take from my mom that she was a little bit more stricter about. You know what I mean? It's not that I'm trying to be my, my kid's friend. No, I feel like when we get to a certain age, we can bond more. I'm not going to say like friends, but like a mother and daughter, son and daughter, adult life relationship. Not necessarily friends, because I'm going to be honest, my mouth is ruthless. My kids know my mouth is ruthless. And what I mean by ruthless, I do not ever curse at my kids. Like I never curse at them. Never. But I am a good one for saying shit, damn fuck and all that other stuff. You know what I mean? But it's never directly to them. Um, my husband knows. <laughs> I I'm the sailor in the house. He's the sailor, but I'm I curse like the sailor. You know, I'm a truck driver over here. But um, I don't know, you guys. What y'all think? What What do you guys think? Like, I am at a place in life where I cannot do this alone. I come from a place where I don't have a I don't have family, you know, uh, my side of the family, I'll say I, my mother, my father, my sisters, my brothers, the, it's just non existent at this point. You know what I mean? And maybe one day I'll get into that. Maybe one day I won't, but I don't have that. So it's not like I can mom, you know, this and that. No, or you know, asking a sibling or something like that. I'm the I'm the baby of the family of my side of the family, and I got the most most kids. You know what I mean? My husband, he's the baby of his family. 
we on his side of the family we might be like the third the he's the third one with the most kids because there's six of them yeah so I just need some help this is probably gonna be a short video you guys but what y'all think like do you think that we created this and I'm gonna be honest I really feel like we somewhat did because you know a lot of us do not want a parent like our parents and I know that's not a lot of us you know what I mean because some parents you know some of my friends I mean like my my friends parents didn't care you know what I mean so they did whatever they want but I don't know it's just <sighs> you guys teenagers and young adults it's not for the week I'm gonna tell you we all say oh my gosh you know like sometimes we all think to ourselves man I can't wait till my kids get a little bit older you know just a little bit more self-sufficient teenage life so you know you can get up and go or you know if you've been a stay-at-home mom for so many years like I was you know what I mean like you're ready to adventure off as long as the kids are in school and you know it's time to go <laughs> you know what I mean like what did we do We've got to start somewhere, y'all. We This is a community. We need to start somewhere. Because I don't need my kids to be doomed. And I don't need my grands. I mean, who knows? Th that generation, who knows? My kids' generation, they might turn around and flip everything back around. You know what I mean? And not be like how our parents were, but figure it out. I don't know. Like, like a lot of people say, they are the stupidest, but the dumbest you know generation i don't know we'll see but yeah if you guys have had an issue not issue like a situation like this reach out to me let me know comment down below you know this is a mama that you know wants some insight what do you guys think did we create this what are your thoughts on this um how would you handle what my daughter has said like how would you have handled it? You know what I mean? Like, of course, you know, please don't tell me that you would jump and beat the junk and, you know, disturb the peace, we'll say. <laughs> oh, God. I'm telling you, I'm just so thankful that I'm not like my parents when it comes to discipline because that's traumatizing. Like, it's slavery mentality and I'm talking about for black folks on that part I'm sorry I mean hey I'm talking to whoever want to hear it but you know what I'm talking about on that on that aspect like to me a lot of people feel along with myself it's somewhat of a slavery mentality of beaten asses beaten asses don't get the results that you need beaten asses in the long runs creates trauma and problems for adults that's why our parents got problems. You know what I mean? Some of them. And, you know, I'm not saying all. Oh, and please understand when I say this. Don't get down below and get beside yourself and sit over there like, well, I'm not. No, baby. It, you can tell me you're not like that. That's fine. But remember, you know, yes, this is all in text message, but you don't want nobody to read it out of content. OK, so if you got to put some LOLs in it or if you got to say, you know, I'm not saying this in a in, you know, indecent, um, you know, indecent way or, you know, I'm not trying to come off like this. Please express yourself in that way, because I don't want nobody, you know, down there getting upset. And I don't want to get upset at reading anything either. You guys. OK. So let's be respectful. And if it's anything nasty, you guys know I'm going to delete it. So that's what it is. But you guys, I love you guys. I just, <laughs> I just want to know, what do you guys think? Is this the dumbest generation slash smartest generation? Or are, you know, our generation crazy for not disciplining like how our parents discipline? Tell me. Chime in. All right. You guys, if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe please please comment down below say hey girl what's up what's up girl what we doing this summer say something because i enjoy you guys all right